Hello, and welcome to our production of the Transformative Learning Technologies Lab at Stanford University. In this tutorial, you will learn a step-by-step -step procedure to print three-dimensional models with a MakerBot Thingomatic 3D printer. The Thingomatic is an affordable, open-source 3D printer. As of today, March of 2012, it costs $1,100 and it is likely to go down. Prints by melting and depositing plastic filament onto a build platform. A 1 kg spindle of plastic runs at around $50. Okay, let's get started. First, make sure your Thingomatic is turned on and connected to your computer via USB port. Next, bring up your Replicator G software. Make sure Thingomatic is connected. You should have a green bar across Replicator G if everything is working correctly. Now go to your menus and click on File and Open. Find your model file, click on it and hit Open. Your model should now be visible on your viewport. Click on the Move button to the right of the viewport and click on the Put on Platform button. This will save you from a bad print if your model is floating above or below the platform. Now, click on Generate G-Code. This calculates the path information for your model. Select the correct printer profile and defaults. In this case, we are using Thingomatic ABP MK6. Generating G-code may take up to a couple minutes. Now that you have generated G-code, you are ready to print. Click on Build. The printer will move to starting position and it will take up to 5 minutes to warm up the extruder. Prints can take up hours, but pay close attention to your build. Pay special attention to the extruder's feeder bolt. If it is loose, you will have gaps on your print. As a general rule of thumb, check on it every 10 to 15 minutes. This has been a presentation by the TLTL Lab at Stanford University on how to 3D print with the MakerBot Thingomatic 3D printer. Thanks for watching and happy printing.